Okay, so now we're on to my new website. But before I proceed further, I need to know something about my target audience. Now, in my case, for my example website, I've given you a link of where I'm going to be working. And that's going to be uh, looking at the main website for sustainability and environment. So I've got a persona because I'm aiming mine towards students. You're aiming your website towards academics. And I've identified some attributes, values, goals, and concerns of my target audience. I've got a link to the SharePoint website where I'm going to get my resources from. And you are going to use the Equality Support for Staff SharePoint site for your own website. I've also done some uh, research on the internet and I've come up with a color palette that I'm going to use. I've done some research for the kind of images that I'm going to use to get a feel for the industry. And I've also then sourced all of these so that when I go back to use them for my website, I'll be able to access them. Now, the next step beyond that is to move into the site planning. And at this stage, I've cut and pasted my attributes up here. I've played around with some ideas and I've come up with a mind map. And the mind map is showing me that I'm going to use at least 12 pages. I've got four main pages. I'm going to have a page for the footer and I'm going to have sidebars 